So we're doing a test to see whether or not we can identify oil and latex paints. I already know what we have, uh, so we can get a conclusive test. This is a can of Verithane oil-based semi-gloss. And there's paint on the side of the uh, jar. And then this is uh, some latex house paint, a Benjamin Moore uh, EcoSpec, I think it was. And uh, I have some various solutions here. Uh, the big boy is acetone and alcohol. These are the two that you would use to test. Uh, to, to test. Actually, I don't need a glove for alcohol. I'm just going to go ahead and take a little. And we'll see. We'll start with the oil. And I hope you can see this. And we'll rub it on there. Try to get that in the camera. And the, I can tell you what the result we're going to get is, is nothing. Alcohol does not dissolve uh, oil-based finishes. However, here we are with, oh, you can see I dripped the, uh, I dripped alcohol on the green paint. And you can see it comes right off. It's a, it's, it, it's a household uh, solvent. You're, you're going to have it around. A lot of people are not going to have acetone around. Uh, and, oh, I forgot to mention the single malt scotch. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, you can jump to the end if you just want to see that. Here is the acetone. Now this, I do need a, a glove. I don't like getting this on my skin. And uh, that's pretty full. And I'm going to put my lid right back on there because it evaporates so fast. And uh, first we'll try it on the on a different spot of the of the oil-based finish. And we'll see what happens. Kind of leave it on there for a long time. Actually, you know, acetone it doesn't. It's I don't know if you can see it, but it's not really dissolving, but it's certainly making the paint softer. It's sort of some, doing some damage. To it, it's, it's deglossing it. That's for sure. In fact, that's a good acetone is a good uh, tool to use if you if you let's say you're changing your shiny oak trim to uh, to you want to paint it. As so many realtors seem to want to do these days, they want to see painted trim when they sell a house, which is such a shame. So instead of sanding all that uh, varnish, you can use acetone uh, to degloss it. And then it's actually paintable. I would sand it anyway to take off the little ticks and whatnot. And here's a little acetone, this time on latex-based paint. Get my fingers in the way. Oh, and you can see how fast it cuts through. It really cuts much quicker than, uh, and, it's, and this is almost dry actually. And you can see all the paint in the in the pad there. It's just uh, much faster than than uh, the alcohol, but the alcohol certainly works. Uh, and then just for fun, that's it for the video, and then just for fun, because I like to have fun, I have a little single malt scotch, and of course I had to borrow this from someone because, you know, I would never touch this stuff, it's just keep it around for medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my story. I'm going to stick to that story. Uh, I'm not even going to put it on the, I'm not even going to put it on the oil-based paint. We, we know what's going to happen, but I'm going to put a little bourbon, or it's actually scotch, on, uh, on the on the uh, latex paint this is an eggshell finished paint typical house paint and we're not really getting anywhere I don't know what you're seeing there oh there we go but uh, is it coming off at all on the pad a little bit but you, this is a different type of alcohol and uh, I'm not a chemist I used to know the difference uh, between organic and inner <laughs> no uh, organic and inorganic chemistry, I think organic chemistry is, is the one where you learn that kind of thing. I don't know. I can't remember. I did take a chemistry class, but you can see there's a little a little bit of the finish coming off, but uh, it doesn't really work. So you need rubbing alcohol. This this is uh, this can, it says, you can see it's, it's my finish. This is an old... Uh, this is an old paint thinner can, I think, and I put rubbing alcohol in there. Also, I have this uh, Germex, which is a, a spray hand cleaner, which is mostly alcohol, if, you, if that's all you have around the house. Let's see if that works. It worked in rehearsal. Yeah, there it comes. It's, it's, it takes a little bit longer because there's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of other nasty things that are supposed to keep your hands, make your hands germ-free. 
it does work. So these spray these spray hand cleaners are good, or, or any kind of alcohol, any kind of rubbing alcohol uh, will work. And then you'll know if you have latex or oil, you can proceed.